the day, like if you take away all his heel sets and just made him just a a lob threat and then just the defender, you like, will still be one of the greatest players of this generation, I believe. You guys feel that? Yeah. Way? Well, defense. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's, he'll go. He'll go down in like the defensive titan of all time. So like Ben Wallace, Dikembe. Um, if you feel that way about Rudy Gobert, those type of players, he'll be he'll be with them for sure. And I mean, they're all Hall of Famers, right? They all made it. Rudy's not there so. yet, but he, but they're, they're gonna make so all of them. Yeah, that's he. He could have very little offense and still make the Hall of Fame. That's how good defensively he's going to be. I thought Bikembe so. Mutombo is in the is in the Hall of Fame for rebounding and blocks and rebounds. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame. In the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Well, Wemby, Wemby, Wemby's a pretty good player, man. I, I, I think yeah, I think he's all right. I think he's gonna make some All Star teams. And we think well, out of the right yeah. that trajectory. Defensive so. Titan trajectory. Now we're not even talking about the offensive end. We're just talking about defensively. I yeah, think he's so. gonna be the best defensive player in the game. I do. I think he's going to be the best defensive player ever. Better than Elijah Wan. That's that's better than Bill Russell. Wow. I think at minimum, Mars, he's going to be the best defensive player in the game for a while. Like, I don't think this is going to be where – and you know how I feel about Evan Mobley. I'm a big-time Evan Mobley fan. But I think that there's going to be a gap between those two guys. If I'm just watching their, their, their trajectories and the stuff that Wimby does, the stuff that you can't teach, and the stuff that he already knows we can enhance it, the better rebounder that I feel like he's going to be, how much ground he covers. I think Evan Mobley is a little bit more athletic. And with Evan Mobley being a little bit more athletic, that may enhance his ability to rebound, maybe help him out on the perimeter. But I feel like Wimby covers so much ground that it's going to be so difficult to deal with him. Teams are going to have to change their offenses because of him. He's the future of basketball. I'm sure of it. And my thing is, what happens in five years once he's like, Two steps ahead of everybody. Once he's like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't play through so many seasons. I okay, know Ron, relax, relax. <laughs> relax. relax two, steps, two steps ahead of everyone. Come on, man. The dude is going to be one of the better players we've seen. But like, I don't. Bob, that's, I, that's, not, that's not hard to be two steps ahead of everybody when you're a, when you're an all star. <laughs> like, like your, your typical all star. Your, your typical all stars are already a step ahead of everybody. Who in the NBA is two steps ahead of everyone? Like Joe, like Joe. Let me ask you a question, Bron. Joker. Who is Joker two steps ahead of on the on the on the superstar tier? On Nobody. a superstar tier? Yeah. On a superstar tier, he's. I mean, if, if you're if you're saying like Giannis, uh, who else? Lucas, Luka, J- J- Joel, Steph Curry, Joel Beth. and B. KD. He, who is he two not, steps ahead of? He's not two steps ahead of him. I'm talking about the regular competition. I'm talking about okay. your, your average Joe. Okay. With, with, in terms of those guys, he may be he may be uh, he may be marginally ahead of them, but he's not miles ahead of those guys. But every yeah. oh, I thought when you were saying two steps ahead, you just meant like he saw the game quicker than everyone else. That's why that's how I interpret it. I didn't know you meant which he does, Mars. Which I, 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 I do I do feel like he does have that. I don't think that that's something that that's ridiculous to think because there are guys who think the game. I think Joker is. In that aspect, if you think about how Joker sees the game as opposed to everybody else, I feel like Joker is a step, maybe even two steps ahead of a lot of people in the game because he sees the game a lot faster than other people do. I think that's one of the main reasons why he's as good as he is because the damn show ain't athleticism. Yeah. It's not that. So, with that from, from that point of view, if you look at it that way, okay, because if Anthony Davis had Jokic IQ, it would it would be unfair. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, can, I can see what you're saying as far as that goes. But I'm still having trouble with that statement, bro. Ron. Like, and that's that's the that's the problem. I get called a hater. That's why I get called a hater because I'm like, I just can't, I just can't put that on the kid. Like, I'm, I'm more so talking about on the defense. Why though, Big Ox? Because when you think about where he is projected, right? He's projected as the future of the franchise. That's number one. Number two, mm-hmm. his trajectory and which way he's going. So in the next five years, why is it ridiculous to think that he shouldn't be head and shoulders above his contemporaries? I mean, well, we ain't thing. talking about we ain't talking about guys like Joker. We ain't talking about guys like Giannis. We are talking about guys like he dealing with now, like in his class right. and guys around his age. Why is it ridiculous to think in five years? Because you know how I am about the five year mark. By the five year mark, it's probably who you are. But why is it ridiculous right. to think that by that time, I just don't, that he'll be head and shoulders above his contemporaries? Because I see, I see a great player. I see a great, a great player, particularly a great defender. But I don't see LeBron James. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't see, I don't see a dude, I don't see a dude that's about to carry the squad. I don't. I'm talking well, about well, what well, the hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I get what you're saying. I, I get what you, I get what you're saying. And I, I understand now, but like that's cool enough. I still don't see LeBron James. I don't see a guy that's gonna. I don't see a guy that's gonna carry his squad to to multiple conference finals. I don't see a guy that's gonna that's gonna carry like uh, Wimby's Wimby's not LeBron. That's what I'm saying. Like if you put you put him if he if, if Wimby stays on so, uh, far less superior teams. Right. He's not carrying those teams to finals. Like he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna don't, don't don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't. I'm I'm not. I'm not gonna knock a player for not being able to carry an inferior team. Right. If you, I'm not gonna knock. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna knock you. I'm not gonna knock you for not having superior help. I'm not right. gonna knock you for that. I'm not, and I'm not gonna knock you for having help to get somewhere. But unless Wimby does have help, he's not carrying the squad to the finals. Well, let me ask you this, Ox. He's gonna keep going, keep going, Ox, because I want you to stay there. I want you to stay there, Ox. Do you see a generational talent? Generational talent? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's 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 a freak. He's a freak of nature. So generationally, he's talented. I mean, it's a bunch nature. of freaks of nature, though, Ox. I'm talking about a guy who, in the next couple of years, this dude for the next decade is going to be the best player, or arguably the best player in the game. Do you see that? Yeah. In a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in about four or five seasons, he'll be he'll be for sure easy top three every year. Yeah. Mm. But so, but so is Joel, and I don't see Joel being. I don't see Joel being able to do that either. If Joel, if Joel doesn't have help, he's not taking nobody to the primes. Well, part of, part of that's due to health, though. If if Joel had been healthy throughout all of these years, it it would be a whole different story. Okay. That's, 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 that's 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 clearly speculation. That's that's speculation. That's inadmissible. You know what I'm saying? We're not. You know, it's inadmissible evidence. That we're throwing that out of court. I need okay. to see. Okay. All right. All right, so over LeBron's 10-year run, if he's healthy only three years, how many years does he make it to the finals? Well, we can't do that, Ron, because he was healthy. Right, so we can't do that. That. Once again, that's, that's inadmissible, Ron. I'm yeah. throwing that out. I'm just, I'm just saying, we obviously, that. obviously we're saying bar health with Wimby. But the yes. thing about it is, bro, the, the, impact, evidence, bro. The, the impact that Wimby has on defense alone, and it's right. going to get better. It's only going to get better. It's only going to get greater. He's only going to start better? understanding the process in the game more. Yo, he, he's 19. What, what, what I'm saying how much how much, 20, how, much how much better how much better and why just okay so listen to me he's 19 when he's 29 he's been playing the game for 10 years he's had a couple deep postseason runs he's played 82 games fully he has the crew that he's been playing with for five to six years now they're established they've grown together uh pop probably still won't be around but they'll probably still have another good coach why are you why are you just assuming these things He's gonna, he's gonna have this, he's, he's gonna have this he for six play. years. They're gonna grow together. Like, assuming that we don't know what this front office is. Well, wait a minute. Oh, hold on, big ox. Assuming that players don't get better, that's what I'm assuming. See, well, Ron, you always assume that. You always assume like, oh, you always assume. So let's, like it's a no, scale. no, no. Let's, let's go always do that. It's a scale. Like this player is gonna get better, better, better. Like, let's, wow. Let's and, when, the last and, at what, and at what point do they stop getting better? Uh, and, and, also, and also, and also, and also, not only do they get better, what do they get better at? How do they get better at this? We can't just always say, "Oh, he's nineteen. By the time he's twenty-seven, he's going to do this." Why? Wimby's going to get better because he's going to play basketball. Okay, the more and more you play, the better and better you get. The more you read, the faster you read. The more you run, the faster you run. The more you drive, no. the more confident you become on the road. That, that it's just it's it's just a natural human characteristic. The more you do something, the better you get at it. But if, also, you, if you do it right, practice doesn't make perfect. That, practice does not make perfect. Aside from, aside from that, Wimby's just gonna start processing the game. But can we can we agree? Can we agree that practice does not make perfect? Before no, it doesn't. Practice habits mm -hmm. make you better. Just because you're practicing doesn't mean you're getting better. So are we are we saying Wimby's gonna practice bad? Is that is is that your reason? Are you no. saying, oh, he's gonna be he's gonna be practicing doing this, this, and this? He's not well, gonna I can, I can say that I can say that just as easy as you can say that. What you say? You just being a contrarian right now, you being a hater. You know what you know, you know Wimby is him, and we know over this next 10 to 15 definitely, years, definitely. he's going to run the league. I don't I don't think it, it's gonna be Mars just mentioned Hakeem Olajuwon. He said he's gonna be better on better than uh, at defense than Hakeem. If that's the case, and we're just talking about the defensive end. Once we start factoring in the offensive end, his handle gets tighter. He gets more efficient. He gets stronger. That's the biggest thing. He gets stronger. He starts I'll finding this. How tight can he handle? How tight can he handle? You start hating again. Uh, he starts getting more efficient. His, he starts knocking his shots down more. 
he starts being knowing where to shoot, no, knowing better. where to shoot, knowing knowing how to shoot. The kind of offense is going to be built around him. It's going to be built around his skill set, which is going to improve because with the San Antonio Spurs, I have a difficult time believing that they're going to ruin him like some other franchises have. And if they do, people are going to be smart enough to see that they're screwing him up and he's the future of the league and they're going to get him out of there and get him around some people that know what the hell they're doing before it's too late. That's one That's one factor in. That's one thing that we can factor in. He's not going to be down in San Antonio and they got no idea what they're doing with him for years and they're screwing him up. That's not going to happen. I, no, I don't this, see that. This is my thing, Chuck. I'm not denying the fact that this kid is great. I'm not defying, I'm not denying the fact that this kid is a freak of nature. I'm not denying the fact that he is uh, going to be one of the best defenders we've ever seen. I'm not denying that. What I'm saying is, is that going to translate to him carrying his squad to championships, to finals appearances? That's all I'm saying. I don't well, know if this. I don't know if this is the type of game that translates in the ability to carry a team. That's all I'm trying to get. I, I I think that I, I think that we're confusing carrying squads. Like you talking about him carrying a squad, like James is carrying a squad. Well, yeah. I don't have to carry a squad like James is carrying a squad to still be awesome. I don't have to do it like that. No, no, and you, I, you don't. You don't. I'm not saying right, that. And, 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 and I don't. I don't want to make it sound like he's he has to do that in in, in order to be awesome. But to be an all time great, which I think he's going to be. I do think that just from the defensive end alone, he's going to enhance every squad that he's on. And they're going to make deep playoff runs just off the strength of what he does on the defensive end, how he how he thwarts other teams' offense. He's going to do that. And I've seen other guys do that from a defensive standpoint. Tim Duncan did that. And we don't talk about Tim Duncan carrying squads like we talk about James. Now, when I talk about Wimby being an all-time great offensive player, well, first of all, him coming into the NBA – He's a lot more polished than the average 19 year old that was in college. A lot more polished because I feel like his game translated well to the NBA. With that being said, he gets around the right people. I think he's in a great organization in San Antonio. Being around Pop, who is old, who I don't think is going to be around much longer, Pop is going to put him in the right hands and help him get to where he needs to go. There's no way he's just going to sit down in San Antonio and just be, eh, or just be good. No. They got a generational talent on that crew. There's no way that he's just going to be okay. No, absolutely not. Hey.